Hello everyone, today we are talking about a very interesting product that I have to use some coded language for as to not upset the algorithm. Now, today we are talking about a product that is similar in concept to the FRTs, I guess, but much more similar in concept to the thing that Orange Man had ATF ban uh, and it was bumpy. Okay, we're talking about some products like that that as of right now are being sold and appear legal. I think that this is something that many people might want to look at. I am not endorsing the sales of, I am not saying that you should buy it. I am not linking to anything. We are just discussing some stuff today. Now, before we get going though, I gotta get a few things out of the way. Uh, you cannot buy this hat, it was a limited run, I'm sorry, but you can buy the shirts down in the description. I also wanna say thank you to Route 66 Shooting Sport Park down in San Bernardino, California. If you are a new shooter or experienced shooter, they have classes that would fit your needs. Go check them out, I very much appreciate their support. So today we are talking about the, this is the name of the product here, Cold Finger Fingertip Aperture. It is a product that runs about $25 and what it does is you kind of hold it as if it were a pair of brass knuckles or a cigar cutter, I guess, and you hold it around your fingers. And then you put the grip of your firearm. This is a YouTube compliant magazine. You would grab it like this, and then you could pull the trigger very, very quickly. Now with the stocks that were bumpy, <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, we gotta, we gotta dance around the words. With the stocks, we had to have a product that basically made it so that the only way you could shoot that gun was in bumpy mode. Now, those were pretty neat. Me personally, I could never quite get them to be more accurate than just doing it from my shoulder without one of those devices. Now, I know some people have commented in the past saying that that was just because I wasn't good with those stocks. Maybe, that's, maybe. However, I just saw the design of having the entire gun shift while the stock stays in your shoulder and your hand stays still. This just seemed very, not efficient and it seemed very inaccurate. Now what this device does is allows you to hold the gun into your shoulder and then this hand sort of floats, allowing the gun to kind of vibrate back and forth very quickly. You've seen people make very, very crude designs similar to this with just a piece of wood and a nail. I have literally seen people create posts that stand up and then they hold their gun against it and just push forward into the nail and the nail presses the trigger and when the gun recoils back, it just goes doo -doo 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 -doo, shoots really fast. Now this is a handheld device, which is obviously superior to walking around with a tripod with a nail stuck to it, right? These devices, like I said, run about $25. The initial designs that I saw on the internet um, on their website, which is bump finger, those run about 25 bucks and the initial designs I saw were 3D printed, which seems as if that would mean that there is designs or could potentially be reverse engineered designs out there on the market. These products seem to work with a wide variety of firearms, so pretty much any rifle it seems like there were examples. I will maybe link a video, but if you just look up on YouTube the bump finger or the cold finger fingertip aperture, you should be able to find it on YouTube. Whether or not I can link it, we will see. Now, these products are very interesting. Should you buy one? I personally cannot answer that. I am not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. The interesting thing about these is that they are not a device that attaches to the firearm in any way. Keep in mind, the ATF once said in an official document that a shoestring coupled with a gun was a machine gun. A shoelace was a machine gun, according to the ATF. A glove that you wear that makes your finger vibrate is a machine gun. Would a certain toy, adult toy, attached to your finger also be a machine gun? That's a question for you, I guess. I don't know. So these devices seem very much difficult to ban in the sense of if you look at the actual legal text of what is a machine gun and what isn't, this seems perfectly legal. But in my mind, so did the stocks. 
that were bumpy. So for me, I see this as something that, you know, hey, maybe some people would want to get a hold of, get their fix for fast shooting in a way that doesn't prevent you from shooting your gun in a normal semi-automatic mode and would allow you to quickly go from bumpy to standard semi. It's still semi-automatic even when you're bumping it. It's just you have the ability to do both without having to make permanent modifications to your gun. I am very excited to see potentially in the future someone make a design and upload that design to the internet of this same concept because this seems like a very simple concept that could be printed. Now, if the ATF were to say that, hey, this is actually a machine gun in and of itself, they say that it's a machine gun, which again, they don't have the authority to do, but they will kill your dog, even though they don't have the authority to do so. I'm just commenting on what the reality of the situation is currently. I don't agree with that, obviously, but if they were to ban it, it wouldn't make much more sense to print something like a bump stock or one of these bump devices. I said the word I'm not supposed to say, whoops. If you were to print one of these, it wouldn't make sense to print something like that if it was a machine gun. Wouldn't it make sense to just make a machine gun? Again, I'm not recommending you do that because I am not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. If you choose to do something, that's because you chose it as a free man. Free men don't ask. Now, I'm very excited to see products like these. I think they're very interesting. Me personally, would I buy one? Well, I live in the state of California and I haven't really analyzed this with the laws that specifically ban things like bump stocks and binary triggers, but that could be a topic for another day if these products don't get completely smited off the internet by the ATF. We will see. Let me know what you guys think down below. You guys know the drill. Have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace. <laughs>